case four, the printing process. The early newsletters were well produced and many had beautiful covers which are on display in this case. The telescope was printed at KP, as was the Collins Bay Diamond. They were handset and printed from linotype. It is important to remember that these magazines were produced and edited by the inmates, most of whom were common criminals who had little or no training and not a lot of formal education beyond middle school. Most began writing in prison, perhaps as a means of escape. Although the editors at the telescope say that the newsletter was written by regular inmates, most of the writing was done by the inmate editors. It was difficult for the editors to find writers who would follow the policies that were set by the prison administration. The job of the editor was not easy. They had to appease the administration and follow the policies or risk punishment, such as having their good time reduced or being relieved of their duties as editor or risk being seen as uncooperative. In addition, they had to be mindful of the inmate population and walk a fine line between the two. One U.S. inmate in the book Jailhouse Journalism referred to a censorship of survival as the personal ramifications of upsetting the inmate population could be harsh or even deadly. Censorship proved to be frustrating for the editors, making it difficult for them to get stories approved. Although the editors had many hoops to jump through to get their magazines published, they were not forced to publish particular items or viewpoints. This was most evident in 1957, when the telescope was not published for an entire year because the editors and the administration could not agree on the policies of the magazine. Continuity was another problem that plagued the publications. As men moved around the system, it was difficult to maintain the style and content of the newsletters. The inmate compositors, pressmen, and linotype operators resented interference from the other inmates, and the two functions, editing and production, were kept separate. The images in this case show the instructor and inmates working in the print shop in KP in 1962. Around this time, the newsletters start to change, and the high-quality look of the publications, which featured beautiful silk screen and woodcut covers, is gone, replaced mostly by mimeographed and later photocopied product.